just writing about Oklahoma sports and the University of Oklahoma athletics. I've always kind of been aware of a history of Native Americans. Obviously, living in Oklahoma, there's a great history of Native Americans in the state. So it's kind of just a nat it was kind of a natural process or pro uh, progress of taking it from that and just kind of being curious about it and uh, doing some doing a little bit of research. The first one. It was kind of kind of tried to lay the foundation for it. Uh, I did a, I did a pretty long story on just the nuts and bolts of what I could find on Native Americans and their history of playing football at OU, and it was it was very extensive. So that led me to to branch off into the various characters, and we've only really begun to scratch the surface in that issue. And then with this issue, um, you know, there's there's the great Jack Jacobs, who we did a story on in the last issue. Uh, Wahoo McDaniels. There's a lot of more famous names, but then there's a lot of other guys. Uh, Sam Clapman, Clappen, who we did a story feature on in this issue. Great lineman, uh, great uh, advocate for Native American uh, causes. Uh, went on to play in the NFL. Just uh, he d died when he was only 45 years old. So you know, a person there who had a lot more to give in life, which. It, it, it's a so it's a little bit of a bittersweet story on him, you know, something that he had had a lot of success with. I think was a very uh, a very bright beacon for the native community, someone that people could follow and, and, and you know be be a role model. I grew up in Anadarko, Oklahoma, and my dad at one time was president of Oklahoma's for Indian Opportunity, and, and back in the early 70s. So I kind of had a little bit of history of. Uh, just knowing about Native Americans, growing up with a lot of Native Americans, Anadarko is a very diverse little town for you know for a little place in Oklahoma, and just um, going to OU and being a little bit of a historian of, of OU sports, and uh, so that, that kind of just led me down that path. And when I started doing research, I just discovered there was a whole lot of a whole lot of information there. Being a writer, and especially if you're doing a historical piece, it, it's always I think the most fun or the most uh, uh, enjoyment you get out of it is is the research, is going back and on that. It's almost like a treasure hunt. It's you're looking for little nuggets. You're looking through archives. You're looking through books, whatever is available to you that potentially might lead you to a, to a certain character or to a team or to a, an era or whatever it might be. But that's uh, for me. That's I, I get a lot of enjoyment from that, and, and it's very satisfying find when you find something and you're able to, to tell that story and share with with uh, your readers because a lot of times those stories have, have been buried kind of kind of gotten lost in the cracks of time or however you want to call it and um, it's really fun to kind of breathe life back into them I mean hopefully I do a, a decent job with that it's uh, it's something I definitely have a passion for and it's it, that's it was definitely that the case with the with the two Native American issues we've done it's just been a, and we've had other writers obviously do it, as, you know, work on those projects as well, but it's, that's been a very good motivating factor for it. To get that word out and to, again, tell the stories that have been lost was definitely our, our main goal. And not just, uh, you know, for natives, but for everybody. So everybody knows that history because it's, I think it's important to our state. It's important to the people of our state and anybody who's ever, you know, I guess had anything to do with Oklahoma or had piece of history here but um, definitely I think it's gratifying to some degree as a staff and as uh, for, for our magazine to, to tell those stories and to, to at least uh, see how the reaction of them and when and when the Native American community recognize that I think it is definitely something where it's it, you know it's something we wanted to have happen I know for sure we're uh, we're planning on doing a third Native American issue at the same time next year uh, We'll just see what kind of legs it has after that, but it's it's something I think. Again, there's a, there's a lot of stories there. There's a lot of material that can still be told, and I think you know, just like any other part of Oklahoma football history, it's it's something we'll continue to pursue and uh, tell the stories, and hopefully, uh, you know, just bring that bring shed, shed a little bit of light on it. I guess.